So, uh, what are you doing right now, Mr. Roop? Oh, I'm just checking my task list. Tasks. Task list. You know, you can do that in Google. Yeah, I've got this new, new program. Well, it's not that new. But it's a Google program. It's a Google app. Google Tell Keep? Is that yes! What Google Keep. I'm keeping it. So keep. let's talk about keeping, keeping it real here in Google. Keeping it real. With Google Keep. So, first off, now that it's part of the G Suite apps, you can get to Google Keep by clicking on your waffles in the top right-hand corner. Clicking more for that second page, and there's Google Keep. It's the yellow square with the white light bulb. We've got lots of apps there. Oh, you know it. And then you can just, or you could just type in keep.google.com if you really wanted to. But basically, Google Keep is sort of like a notepad for, to simplify terms. Sticky notes. It's the, the, the Google version of sticky notes. Exactly. And um, I can turn on Google Keep's reminders, as it's saying right here. So I'm going to do that because I haven't yet. So you turn on reminders. I did. I what? like reminders. And I'll tell you about reminders in just a second. Okay. Because Google Keep lets you do notes and reminders. We'll hey, start with notes. I noticed something. What's that? You, you've got a sticky note there. I've got many sticky and notes here. One says we have talking points. We do have talking points. Yes. So the first note that I created today was Google Keep talking points. So let me just check off notes because that's what we're going to get to. And as you see, this note that I just created, or list, so I could either come up here and create a note and title it with, you know, test. No, oh, going to the test. This is a test Woo! note. That's what we always do. Bring it on. And that's all I'd have to do, right? It shows that's all up. you have to do. Yeah. The but minimum requirements. The minimum requirements. We don't, like, Google Keep. we don't like minimum requirements. Why would you? No, we don't. we got to keep it real. That's right. So I click over here, and now I get a list. So this is where I can put in my grocery list and put in things I need to pick up, like milk. Whoa, spell it right. <laughs> milk. milk. Bread. <laughs> That's how Jackson yeah, pronounces well, it funny. You know, the essentials. Because he's a goober. He says, malarque. I want some malarque. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because malarkey is something else. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. It's very different than milk. He's, he's an odd duck. Well... Apple doesn't fall <laughs> too far from the tree. No, nope. that's all right. So the nice thing about a Google Keep note that's a list format is it literally creates it in a list with check off boxes. So I can say, all right, I already picked up milk. It's gone from my list. But it's there. You just see it crossed out like a real list. It's yeah. great. Okay. I can also create a note with an image. Ooh. Or I can create a note <gasps> with a drawing. Whoa. So, drawing. So lots of things here. Reminders. So let's get to that. Hang on, Google Keep. We did notes. Now we're going to reminders. Check off. Reminders on the left-hand side is the little arrow with the finger with the, you know. You know, like in school, you used it. to tie a, a string around string your around finger it. to remind yourself something, and then you would forget why you tied the string around your finger. Right. Like me. So while I'm in what reminders, you, you forgot what you were going to say because you didn't actually tie the string around your finger. I'll send you a keep okay. reminder. Thank you. We'll get to that too. So if you're in Reminders, you'll notice that it went from Notes, the orangey-yellow banner, to Reminders, which is this navy blue, slate blue banner at the top. Right. If I take a note, it is still a note, but it's in a label called Reminders. We're going to get to labels in just a second, too. But in Reminders, I can do the same thing, take a note, but now it's a reminder. But every Google Keep... So technically, everything you do is a note. Correct. Okay. It's a Google Keep note. Google Keep note. Google Keep note. Yeah, you can either navigate over to Reminders to create one, or in you, in any of your notes, you'll see that the icon here in the bottom left hand corner of the note the finger with the tie tie string. string. It says remind me. When I click remind me, I get lots of choices. Okay. Lots of choices. Uh, at first, I get some pre a pre default predetermined default whatever choices. All the same. So I could say, all right, I want to be told later today and it set it for 8 o'clock. Okay, well, what if I didn't want 8 o'clock? I, I can too change late for it. Me. I'm in bed. And I can do custom. And I can say, all right, 3.45 p.m. is when I need to go pick up my three grocery items. <laughs> Milk, bread, and wine. Yeah, the essentials. <laughs> I can also change the colors of it and all kinds of things like that. But inside, remind me, too, here's the cool part. You can also pick a place. Whoa, wait, yeah, whoa. Yeah, yeah, So if you're syncing with your phone like you were just doing, Let me try. when I go to pick my place, it'll ask me, are you sure you want it to know your location? You do have to allow that in order for it to do this. Okay. But you can choose a place. So if I pick my place and I say, all right, we are at um, central office here. I can type in the, US, the address for central office. And now it'll remind me based on my geolocation. So the next time you get close to that location, which you would be as you're driving by the Hannaford right. on your way home, it's going to send a message to your phone saying, hey, you're in the location. Don't forget to pick up. So milk, I can put in a list right now to pick up Noosa on the way home. Yes, some of your fancy, uh, fancy yo yogurts. Greek yogurt that you're. Noosa. Yeah, you could do that. I will. And your wife would probably be happy about that. Very well. Much so. 
So the great thing about Keep is that you can set up these reminders as well. And of course you could share them. So your wife could have created the grocery list and shared Whoa, them with wait, you. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So if I hover again over the note or the reminder, I have the share app option or collaborator option. Ooh, ooh which... can you collaborate that with me? I need some wine. Okay. <laughs> of course you do. I'm going to. I actually don't episode. drink wine. So. I'm going to need some after this episode. <laughs> so if I type in troop at yorkschools.org, which you are free to spam his email box now, Go ahead. Um, I can save that and now that's saved with him. I filter my emails. So, oh, that's all right. I get back to all of my emails eventually. <laughs> so we can get to that. Um, so now you will get that email as you drive by. I didn't know Hannaford's address, but we were close enough. Yeah. All right. We good? We're good. Let's move on. Let's go back to notes. We're, we're, what's next? Uh, so we see. have we did we did uh, sharing. There. We did geolocation. Yeah, we did geolocation. And wow, we did we're just sharing. rifling through these. So calendar events. You'll notice that I had put a, a time for three forty-five, and if I go to my calendar, refresh my calendar here on the left-hand side where my calendars are. Hopefully, you don't have as many calendars as I do. It gets a little confusing. I should have one called reminders. And, oh, oh, and I think I, I see reminded, one pop right in there. There's the reminder. So that's a school board meeting. says I have a school board meeting at 8 a.m. Well, that's not true, but anyway. If I go back to Google Keep and I go to my school board meeting where my five, and that's where it was. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. is not true. It's actually tonight at eight, about eight p.m. 6 p.m. Oh, 6 p.m. So I will put that in there and save that. Not, I don't need to share that one with you, Tom. But if I go no, back to my calendars <laughs> and give it a couple minutes or I'm just going to refresh for the speed of time here, you will see that it pops up at my intended time of 6 p.m. Awesome. So it'll remind me. Cool. So it's in my calendar. So, so reminds my phone if I sync and I get the list if I choose to go that way. That looks like that could be a replacement for something that Google currently has. So that's kind of where I was seeing this going too. So if I'm in Gmail and I click on the mail app and tasks, I had the ability to do the same kind of thing in tasks. But right. I don't know about you, but because it didn't equate to a calendar, because it was sort of this secondary click, I would often put tasks in there and not complete them or forget to go back to them. I would just put them right in my calendar and just ignore tasks altogether. Yeah. But this gives me two places to have it at the same time. Right. It's already in keep. I can see it as a sticky note or I can see my calendar. Yeah, I it's agree. It's beautiful. It's also tough because if your kids don't have Gmail for their Google accounts, right. they wouldn't have had that feature where now they do have Google Keep as part of their Gmail accounts. It's up to the admin to turn that on but it is one of the core apps now. Cool. All yeah. right. Checking them off. So we're checking them off left and right. So labels and arrangements. So you just saw my um, talking points here, and we kind of went out of order. What I could do is I can shuffle this order around. Right. So, for instance, labels and arrangements is good. We'll get to keep to doc. We'll do doc to keep first. I can just drag them around and put them in any order I want. Wow. Pretty neat. I like that. I, I like that, too. You can archive them um, just like you do with anything else. Or I can also create a label. I can create new labels like um, Google PD. I already have one for reminders. Once I do that, again, hovering over my label, if I click the three Oreos in the bottom right-hand corner, I can add a label to it. Right. And now I can check off, hey, that belongs in my Google PD notes. So now on the left-hand side, you'll see my labels start populating almost like the labels in Gmail and very similar to folder Gmail. structure in Google Drive. Very similar. Very similar. It's very user-friendly, I think. What's really nice is as soon as you click on notes, you're going to see all the notes you have, whether the reminders, whether they're labeled, anything of the sort. Exactly. As soon as you put a label to it, you click on that label, you'll only see what's in that label. That's right. Yeah. So if I do that and click Google PD, there it is. Right. I mean, just see the one. Whereas if I'm in notes, it's any note and any reminder I've created. So Organization far. is a great thing. Oh, got to love it. So keep them labeled. So next up, we're going to do doc to keep and yep. keep to doc. Right. So here's an interesting thing. So if I navigate to a Google Doc, I'll do our virtual field we trips love presentation. love virtual field trips. Yeah, and we'll talk about them later on on another Keep tuned for clip. more things about virtual virtual field trips. V v v so if I'm v in Google Doc, easy for you to say. Not at so all. So if I come into Google Docs and I click on Tools, I can click now Keep Notepad, and it's integrated. It pops up on my right-hand side. Now, obviously, my grocery list with wine attached, probably not something I want the kids to see in a Google Doc. <laughs> However... This is a great place for me to include a note about something that I'm constantly going to have um, commenting on for, for t um, 
my students. So, for instance, this one right here, so I see an awful Google lot. Google Keep has been around for over a year now. It's, it's early in 2017. It was released uh, in 2016. Yeah. But this feature in Google Docs was just released in early 2017. So this is a newer feature yeah. that we're hitting on right now. And it's now part of the core apps, which makes it so that it's FERPA COPA compliant. Right. Which is nice. So I just rearranged my notes similar to anything else, a drag and drop. I don't want the grocery list to show up, so I'm going to put that off to the side here and move some things around. All right, I like that. Now if I go back in, refresh here, and I'm going to open up my tools one more time. So and every time you refresh, it's gonna bring you into the default view of your Google Doc. You right. will every time have to click on tools to, yeah. open up, uh, to open up Keep. Just like the old research tool or the explore feature yeah. that now comes out, which we'll talk about. Um, Another point. It, it does uh, pull up this drawer, right? Or this extra yeah. sidebar on the right-hand side. So you'll notice I have notes up here. One thing I like to do is within Google Keep, I put down something I'm going to comment on my students' docs an awful lot because if I have... So it's like having a sticky note to continually remind yourself to do something. Exactly. For those people that put sticky notes on your right laptop on the laptop. Or your computer, you now put them in the computer. Here's They're in the computer. Here's the difference though, right? So many times I'll be reading student work and I'll highlight a word and go to add a comment and I right. feel like I'm typing the same comment over and over again, especially right. for something we just learned. So instead, if I click the three Oreos on my Google Keep note, I can add it directly to the document. Bang, just drop it in. Just drop it in, or I can highlight, copy, paste the note, and then put it into the comments section if I prefer to do it that way for the notifications. What's sake. great is if, if you're doing the same thing repetitively, you can just copy and paste everything in. But if you're sorting through a bunch of work, you may do it on one and not on the other. Right. So you have it there so you don't have to keep going back to one. It's all sitting right there for you. Right. So especially when you're coming to um, an assignment where kids are going to be doing um, similar research in topics and you want them to basically hit on the same points, you can have these Google Keep pre-loaded, customized yep. uh, notes that you're going to keep going through and just keep hitting it to the kids over and over again and save you a ton of so time. So we've gotten a lot of ways to get Keep into the document. True. But what if you're in the document and you see this one point and say, I, gotta, I, I just want to make a note of that because that's something, perhaps it's a view-only document and you want to pull something out. That's right. Can you take it from the document and put it into a key? So if you highlight um, text now in a document and I do a right click, so on a Mac it's uh, hold down the control and click my mouse, I now have save to keep notepad and it automatically did it. Look at that, capture and share moments with virtual reality. Virtual reality. Yeah, and then I have some options once I click the three Oreos to delete that, or I can open up Keep, which would send me right back here where the note has already come in, where I can label it, change wow. colors, all that fun stuff again. Awesome. So that's Doc to Keep. And Keep to Doc. And Keep to Doc, which are huge, right? Right. Um, what about the Keep extension? I haven't come across this extension. Please tell me so, more. So let's go to a website Lovely. for a second. We've pulled okay. up a, a new... So now I'm in a, an article, right? Lost right. and found Antarctic Balloon Telescope. This looks pretty cool. I'm, doing, I'm doing some research on Antarctica. Very sciencey. Um, so... <laughs> research on Antarctica. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I want to add these to my notes. Now, There's in the snow. older days, I would have to either use Evernote or some of those other great features or highlight Third-party third apps, not one that's specifically designed by Google because, I mean, right. it's Google. We do Google. Yeah. I we mean, do the Googs. A lot of people would have pulled this up in the research tab in the old days or explore and done it that way. But if you're on the full screen and you say, hey, I really need this, right. I just click the Google Keep extension, which I got inside of my um, Chrome web store. There's like a link there. It immediately creates a link. It shows a picture of what's going. And then I can take a note like, um, this is so awesome. Evidence for my first introductory paragraph. Whatever. Okay. I mean, obviously I like, the this is so is awesome. It. And it's so fluffy. <laughs> so there it is. It's saving currently in my extension. I Boom. didn't have to touch apps at all. You don't think about Google. Google. Camp, you don't have to hit save. It just does it. And if I go to Google Keep, it's already there. In awesome. fact, right here in the top right-hand corner will show me where my refresh button is. And as it does it, it also says check. It's saved in the cloud, ready to go. Yay. All my devices, no matter how it, I log in with this account. It's now cloudified. It's now cloudified. Nobody understands cloud, but it, <laughs> it's beautiful. Right. It's a beautiful thing. Right? So there we are. We have done comments to templates, and we have used the Keep extension. Google Keep is here to stay. We're just going to keep on keeping on. All right. So if you like this video, you want to see more, please uh, like it and hit uh, some comments below of other things you'd like to see. Please follow us on Twitter, Elawson77, 1977. 1977. Root Boy's dad. And uh, we'll see you next time.
See ya.